Is it on? <laughs> yes. Sorry, I can hear it. <clears throat> Hello, um, I'm Lena from Go Goldfields. I uh, work in communication, other life. I've also been an author of a number of books and worked on many literacy programs. Um, I want to talk about books today, specifically about reading with your children. So with me, I have... My name's Tanya. I'm the library officer at Maryborough Library and I take the story time and toddler time sessions here at the library where we like to encourage parents and children um, to read and, and explain to them how confident it makes their children yep. and that whole bonding scenario <clears throat> that parents need to travel that journey with their children and it's exciting. And it takes, it takes the children out of those parameters, that, those confined at home where it's brush your teeth, get dressed, it's time to go to school, let's open a book. You just got a ticket to somewhere wonderful. Escape outside. I'd like to talk about first is the research that we both read and it's been done again and again mm -hmm. um, that kids love dad reading with them. Absolutely. Um, why, why do you think that is? I think in today's climate parents, the, the whole family set up is, is different perhaps to when we were children. Fathers, they have to work away. Sometimes they're not within the family unit mm -hmm. on a full-time basis. We talk about quality time, but it doesn't have to be a whole book. <music> but Dad doesn't even actually have to even select the book or even suggest it. Quite often, if you let them open it where they want to, they don't have to open there it. There is no step. All Dad has to do is go like that. You're going to be dad. Oh, I'm dad. Yeah. So the two dad that moustache. So, <laughs> uh, point to that. Yeah. Now you have Ma to say make the sound. Oh, make the sound. Make the sound. I have to make the you sound. Make oh, cheap, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sound I wanted to make today. I always find bar really. Mm, bar. <laughs> <laughs> comfort them with your voice they don't necessarily have to understand well not our voices what who are you talking about well i'm too loud i would never i don't i excite Do you, no but you can tone it down like this that's right okay. and that's how you bring them in no, they're reading a book and even um their first book at kind or school or whatever mm -hmm. and they say a wrong word what what would you do i, I wouldn't even question no you just go I past would just keep Flowing. Absolutely. Let them keep reading. If you say, no, 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 hang on a moment, that's not right, the child stops. Confidence. Shot. Just let them keep going. It's about encouraging, not discouraging. Mm. So just let them go. And besides, it's entertaining for us. I love hearing my little girl make up her own little words. We never had gravy in our house. It was oh. always grovy. Grovy. It was grovy. She saw it was grovy, Mum. Of course it is. Well my my first godson actually, instead of um, funny, he used to go, oh honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thank you. Thank you. No thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>